I'm going to be reading Meal School, and it was written by Julia Ralson, which means she did the words for the story, and illustrated by Lynn Chapman, which means she did the pictures. And we have a special guest star, Miss Butter. Stomper did not like mule school. He liked the other mules and he liked lunchtime and playtime, but he did not like stubbornness practice. Every day his schedule is the same. Nine o'clock, stubbornness. Eleven o'clock, kicking. Twelve o'clock lunch, one o'clock stubbornness again. Two o'clock, kicking. Three o'clock, home. Day after day, the mules recited, won't, 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 can't, can't, can't. They shook their heads and stomped their feet. But one day, Stomper put his hoof in the air. What if we want to do what we're told? He asked nervously. You're a mule, refuse, cried Mrs. Kick. But, but what if it seems like a good idea, mumbled Stomper. Nobody else's idea is good. She snapped and sent him to stand in the corner. Butter, you're in the way, baby. Stomper's first stubbornness test was a, to guard a pile of apples. He stood mumbling, no, 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 under his breath. Not long before, a scruffy pig snuffled up. My piglets are so hungry. Could you spare a few apples? She asked. Well, of course, said Stomper. Help yourself. The pig waddled happily off at the apples, but then Stomper gulped. Oh, he had forgotten to be stubborn. Fool of a mule, cried Mrs. Kick. You must never, ever give in to a pig. Stomper's next task was to block a path. Soon a family of goats needed to get past. Stomper stood aside and waved them in politely. But then the school's meanest mules, Biff and Bash, jumped out and laughed. We are mules, we like to kick. Weakness makes us sick, 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 they chanted as they circled him. We're gonna tell on you. You were supposed to stop the goats, not let them through. Oh, those are nice kids. Do they look like they're nice? You're right, thought Stomper. I really am a useless mule. Trying to see if I'm showing you the picture the right way. Stamp, why am I so weak? Asked Stomper on the playground. You're not weak. You've got a good kick, said Stamp. Come on, let's go play ball. Stamp kicked the ball over to Stomper and then over the haystack and then Stomper galloped after it, forgetting all about his stubbornness troubles as he raced across the playground. They bashed and they butted and they kicked and they crashed until it was time for class. That afternoon was a field trip to practice kicking in the valley, but Stomper was sent out apple picking to replace all the apples that he lost. He wandered up the valley side following a butterfly and was listening to the mules chanting below when he heard a frightening sound. The dam above the valley burst! Uh-oh! And a huge river was roaring down. His friends were going to be swept away. 
moves, cried Stomper as loudly as he could, but the mules couldn't hear him. Leaf or branch or rock and stick, whatever it is, we'll give it a kick, they chanted far below. Run, thundered Stomper, waving his hooves wildly, but the mules were not looking. Nose to the ground and tail to the sky, let those thundering mule hooves fly, they cried as they kicked, kicked, kicked. <coughs> Excuse me. Then at last, Mrs. Cook Kick saw the water swooshing towards her. She faced up the valley, dug in her hooves, bared her teeth, and cried, We are mules, and we won't budge even for an enormous flood. What? How stubborn can you be? The other mules took up the cry. Their eyes were wide, their ears were back, but their trembling hooves were planted firmly in the ground. Suddenly, another sound was heard above the water. Crash, crash, crash! The mules closed their eyes tightly and covered their heads with their hooves, but then... Protect yourself, Butter. cried Stamp with a mighty neigh of delight. Stomper's head was down, his heels were flying, and he was kick, kick, kicking with all of his might. Crash, crash, crash. He kicked at rocks, he kicked at sticks, he kicked at broken branches, wood and rocks tumbled down the valley side with a rumbling roar, making a new dam that whooshed the water safely away. Stamper trotted down the hill and stood casually nibbling flowers. Then slowly the other mules saddled up to him. We were wrong, they muttered. We were foolish mules. Stomper just shook his head. No, you stood your ground. You stood your ground and you did what a mule should do. It's just lucky that not all mules are the same as you. Mrs. Kick looked thoughtful as she led them back to school. The next day, mule school schedule read as this. Nine o'clock, stubbornness or pottery. 11 o'clock, kicking or flower arranging. 12 o'clock, lunch. One o'clock, stubbornness or hoof painting, printing, hoof printing. Two o'clock, kicking or musical mules. And three o'clock, home. And at 11 o'clock, Will Stomper happily kicked his way through class. Biff and Bash were down in the meadow, merrily arranging daisies. So sometimes, it's not a great time to be stubborn. Isn't that right, Miss Bulletin Tog? You want to say hi? Hi.